Hi everyone, uh, this is a quick review of the Galaxy Sky. I did a review earlier where I compared the Galaxy Sky with the Galaxy Luna, but this is the Galaxy Sky by itself. So just a quick review of the Galaxy Sky by itself. Uh, basically, if you've seen the previous one, you know that this has a 5-inch Super HD AMOLED screen. Remove this and show you some of the details up close so you can see that in fact it is a very nice phone. The border around the phone is a sort of a metallic, uh, it's a metallic color. It's very simple, it doesn't have a lot of uh, buttons. I mean in fact it only has the one button at the bottom and then the two virtual buttons on the side. So a lot of people were asking how the Galaxy Sky compares with the Galaxy uh, S5 and, and here's the Galaxy S5 and if you put these side by side they're kind of difficult to distinguish one from the other so this is the Galaxy Sky this is the Galaxy S5 and you see that they do have the same button at the bottom and the virtual keys now on this one they're more pronounced even when the device or the phone is off but the Galaxy S5 has, they're there, they're just not noticeable. Another major difference is that the Galaxy S5 has this uh, cover port for the uh, for the charger, and the charger, when you, when you remove this port on the Galaxy S5, it has, I'm going to go ahead and remove that, it has a kind of a different uh, USB 3.0, which is a, a lot faster, for charging and for data transfer. Uh, aside from that, there's some there's some differences in the overall design. So the Galaxy S5 is a it's a more uh, I want to say it's a more advanced phone. But if you know if you look at them both side by side, really they're very similar. Now here's the Galaxy S6 next to the Galaxy Sky, and again similar design. Galaxy S, S6, of course, is a more, uh, you know, it's a nicer phone. I, I wouldn't even put it in the same category as the, as the Galaxy Sky, but here you have the three in front of you, so you can sort of see that what you're getting with the Galaxy Sky is along the same lines as the Galaxy S5 and the Galaxy S6. So here's the 5 next to it, here's the 6, and... You, you know, when you get the Galaxy Sky, you're getting the Galaxy series and from Samsung. So overall, I'd say that it is fairly comparable, but I won't mislead you in thinking that it's up to par with the Galaxy 5 or Galaxy S6 as far as specs and hardware. But visually, they are very similar. Now, Galaxy Sky is running uh, Android 6.0 which is Marshmallow. I'll go ahead and show that to you real quickly here. Oop, wrong. So it's Android 6.0, which is Marshmallow. And for those of you that know how to do this, this has a sort of a hidden game. So, no big deal. I don't want to waste time playing that game. But again, this is um, screen size, which is about five inches diagonally. It has a 1.3 gigabyte memory, 750 megabytes available of RAM. It has a proximity sensor. Uh, it doesn't have a light sensor. It's, I believe it's selling for $140 from Straight Talk. Depending on when you see this video, uh, there might be some sales. Uh, the camera is a is a 5.0 megapixel camera. I'll go ahead and do some zoom action here so you can see the quality of the camera. It is very good in fact. And this goes for both the front and for the rear camera. As far as recording video, also very good. Some people asked about the emojis. Um, just one thing I have to clear up, the device doesn't dictate the emojis, it's the software that you have on it. So if you're going to uh, construct a text message, then I'll take it from scratch here. There's a messages icon there. 
and this happy face here to the right of where it says enter message has all your emojis there. I'm going to try to keep as still as I can and show you all the different emojis. Now these are the these are the happy face emojis. And I believe you can well on some of them you can scroll left and right and up and down on this one you can't. So this has the latest that I've seen of the emojis and it, by the way the Luna and the sky both have the same both have both have the same emojis. Uh, other folks wanted to know if if you can do FaceTime with with Google uh, or Facebook Live, and the answer again is yes because it's not hardware dependent; it's all in the software. So here's some additional emojis at the bottom: people, animals. Uh, so it's got it has a pretty extensive emoji collection pre-built. And keep in mind that there are other apps that you can you can download. Some of them are free. Some of them you purchase that will include. Uh, a, a different variety of emojis that you can download. So just to get that out of the way, this is the Galaxy Sky. And I believe the comparable uh, Samsung brand is a J3. And I'm going to show you on the inside. This is removing the this lid, which I've shown in the other video. It's a very flexible uh, cover and it comes right off it snaps on and snaps right back on battery this is a 2600 milliamp battery which has a very decent uh standby and talk time I believe the standby is 13 days talk time is about 25 hours talk time and you know that will vary based on whether you're actually running other apps, watching videos and that kind of thing. So it will vary, but it's overall a very strong battery. You have your micro SD card, which shares also the uh, SIM card holder, which is a nice feature. You have them both there. You can access the micro SD card without having to remove the battery. Removal of the battery is very easy. There's a notch there where you just go ahead and put your a finger or a quarter or a penny in there and bam there you have it so overall it's not it's not difficult at all to to work with this uh, with this phone it's very simple um, again it's a very elegant phone I'm gonna go ahead and snap on the back the back cover on it as well it comes equipped uh, with I want to say let me see this is uh, 1.3 gigs of total RAM and it's got a 1.2 quad core processor so for 140 dollars which is what they're starting to sell it at uh this is a very good device you know i i wouldn't say it otherwise and i'm giving a lot of emphasis on the sky because because i know what what it is that you're getting for for the money you have the camera on the back with the light uh so you have a flash you have a speaker here which i'll do a quick demo on the speaker uh, and then show you also a video which I've shown in the previous in the previous video as well. But I'll go ahead and run another one so you can take a look. Perhaps this time a different uh, different video from YouTube altogether so you can check out. Uh, let's see here is something interesting here. Frankie's holiday. All right, so that's a quick video on the Galaxy Sky, just to kind of give you an idea. The sharpness of the screen is really good. I mean, keep in mind that you're looking at it through another uh, lens, so you're going to get some pixelation here. But when you have it up close in person, there's absolutely no pixelation. Uh, so the specs pretty much went over that. Uh, there's nothing really here that I wouldn't say that is uh, negative about the Galaxy Sky text, camera, uh, emojis, the speaker, you know, pretty much everything, the body, the way it's constructed, it's, 
it doesn't get hot. I mean, I've ran YouTube for 20 minutes and it didn't even get hot. So overall, that's a quick review. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Uh, again, Ga Galaxy Sky from Straight Talk running Marshmallow, running approximately $140. If they have any sales, uh, there's a link below that you can look at. Go straight through through uh, tr track phones or excuse me, straight talk, and there's free shipping on there as well. So again, have any questions? Let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Please go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you again. I'll be adding.